Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you uh, an answer to a viewer's question on how to get over someone. There are actually three types of heartbreak and I'm going to give you five tips on how to move on. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, the three types of heartbreak are when you're actually with someone and they leave you or die, ouch, the, very painful. Um, when you're not with someone but you're rejected and when you're just longing for someone that you'll never be able to get. So all of these three types of heartbreak are actually physiological feelings in your body. Like when you feel your heart breaking, there's actually a chemical reaction happening in your brain that causes your heart to constrict and it feels awful. Like we've all been through different types of heartbreak and or rejection and it feels very similar and it sucks. So how can you get over the person and move on? Well, these tips will actually apply, most of them, to all aspects of heartbreak. And the five tips are basically focusing on yourself. So number one, you want to focus on your job or your career. Like, where have you let that slack because of your focus on this other person? Turn that focus around and focus back on yourself and your own career or job and see where you're lacking that maybe needs some attention. Do you maybe need to be, to be moving on in a different direction? Do you need to take some new courses? Do you need to make some more effort? Do you need to ask for a pay raise? Doing any of these positive actions toward your career will make you feel better about yourself and also distract you from your heartbreak for a temporary time because it is all consuming at the beginning. Also, side note, remember that time will help heal that and that's just the reality. So yeah, it's going to suck for a while. Second thing you can do is work on your health. Have you, have you let your health slide? Um, the three areas of health that you want to focus on are sleep, getting enough sleep, getting quality sleep, uh, diet and of course exercise. When you eat better, you feel better. And when you look better, then you also feel better about yourself, both in terms of self-esteem and just physiologically, your body will feel better. So you wanna make sure that you are attending to those areas of your health. So where can you, where can you look at your health and try to improve one of those three areas, sleep, food, or exercise? The next area of your life that you want to uh, pay attention to is your social life. You need to have connections with other people and especially when you're going through a heartbreak because you need to be able to have those kinds of uh, interactions and socialization and people that you can lean on, trust and even open up to. Now it's tough because a lot of shy guys and or introverts don't have a large circle of friends. Some, some of you don't have any friends and you really need to work on that. And yes, it does require effort and it does require courage for some of you. One of the uh, videos, actually I did a series of videos with, uh, uh, what's his name? With Dude, Man Talks, Connor Beaton. So he's got an organization called Man Talks and basically it's where guys get together and you know, like lean on each other, but not in a, you know, sissy kind of way, but in a new age masculine empowerment way. So definitely reach out to the people in your world. And if you don't have friends, try to reach out to family, but definitely stick with people who are going to make you feel or leave you feeling uplifted and positive. Get away from the negative people. That's just not going to do you any good. That will also help you. Hello. <laughs> That will also help you uh, stay off of focusing on the person that you're trying to get over and you can also share with your uh, circle some of the things that are not so positive about that person because when we're in heartbreak and we're longing for someone, we tend to only focus on all of their positive attributes and the things we're going to miss about them. I actually was working with one guy who was trying to get his ex back and I had him write out um, an advertisement for her but in the negative. Uh, and sarcastic so it's like oh you're gonna love this chick you know she's skinny fat and like I mean really mean I know but at the same time it was comical and helped put things in perspective now you don't want to take out any of these negative emotions towards anyone that's uh, left you or rejected you because that's just really not gonna make you feel good and definitely it's not gonna make them want you back or want you at all so don't ever take out your your anger or frustrations on other people and then the next step that you can do is what I like to call spirituality, but it doesn't necessarily mean religion. Now, if you are religious, uh, then maybe going to church or something like that is going to help you have something to lean on that will 
uh, provide sort of a bit of a crutch, and that's absolutely okay for the critical time initially when it's really, really painful. Now, if you're not religious or, spirit, or consider yourself spiritual, what I also lump into this particular uh, area or section is um, like charity, so volunteering. When we help other people, we also release endorphins and other feel-good hormones that help elevate our mood and will also distract us from focusing on the person of our attention. Now, all of these things combined, if you can, if you can select something that's most lacking in your life and focus on doing one actionable step towards improving that area, you're gonna feel better about yourself and you're going to increase your self-esteem knowing that there's going to be, at some point, someone else out there who's not only better suited for you, but probably better. So try to do those things. And what I'd like to know from you is which one of these areas are you going to focus on first? So career, also finances. Uh, career and finances aren't necessarily the same thing. Finances might be about um, not overspending or getting yourself on a budget if you need to. So career, finances, health, social, spiritual, and if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. So I hope this helps and do know that time will really truly heal this. It's um, not just a physical aspect of our bodies, but also it's uh, an addiction. Like the, the neurotransmitters in our brain have these pathways that have us addicted to the people that we're focused on. So the less you can focus on them, um, the sooner that those pathways are gonna fade away and you can feel better about life in general. So I hope that helped. Um, if it did, please give me a thumbs up, share if you think it'll help somebody else. And if you have a question, uh, definitely write it in the comments and make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that if I answer your question in a video that it will actually show up in your feed when I post it. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for being here and I will see you in the next video.